Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the blur and opacity function with tiled clones. So we can start by going ahead and making a shape. It really doesn't matter what shape you make. Um, just uh, vary this up a little bit. Okay, so we got something that looks kind of like a ninja star. And uh, what we can do if we want to clone this is go into Edit, Clone, create tiled clones. And for this tutorial I want to use five rows and five columns. I want to zero out everything here, set the exponent to one, uncheck stuff. And uh, you want to do that for all of these. Now <clears throat> with the blur and opacity, this is what we're looking at here. Um, the blur and the fade out, or the uh, opacity I guess, um, per row you'll get an extra whatever percent you have in each of these boxes here added to each successive row. So if I put in a blur of 10% per, e per each row, you can see what you get. I should probably uh, zoom out a little bit here. So uh, there you can see we got 10% blur, another 10% blur, another 10 on top of that, and so on. And so that goes up, down each row. Now if we had seven or eight rows that do the same thing and just get more and more and more and more blurry. Um, so I'm going to undo that by doing Control Z. And we'll go back to Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. And uh, you can see that it does the same thing. We'll zero out the row here. It does the same thing with the column. So I'll just change that to 10%. And uh, do a Create. And you can see again each row gets successively 10% more blurry. So it, that's that's pretty cool. Um, now we can uh, actually combine those so that um, we have our rows and our columns uh, getting 10% more and more blurry. And it takes a little more process time to get that to spit out here. But you can see that this is the least blurry. Uh, actually there's no blur here. And this is the most blurry where you can uh, almost not even recognize it. So uh, that's what happens there. Um, you can also alternate um, the blur as well as the opacity, but we're not there yet. Uh, you can also alternate this by row and by column. So you can uh, hit the create here and you can see there's blur on every other row and every other column. And where the row and columns intersect, there's 10% more, you know, the, there's the uh, uh, the blur uh, gets added up between the row and the column, whatever's there, um, whatever we put in for our row and column. So uh, that's one thing that you can do with it. And obviously, if you go into here and uh, you do your uh, blur, you can randomize it, say 25%, and you'll get some oddball stuff that happens there. Um, it could be useful for some people, um, not me, but anyways, at least not yet anyways. So uh, what else you can do with this is you can go ahead and uh, you can create, um, let's, let's clear this out and undo the checkboxes. You can create tile clones that um, have varying opacities. So um, if you want to fade out each row 10%. You can see here that everything gets faded out instead of blurred. And uh, let me just, uh, well, yeah, you, you can see that. Um, I'll go ahead here just so you can get a better idea of how well this works. Um, I'm going to end that and uh, just make it a red color. So you can kind of see the opacity in there. Let me uh, turn that a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. There. That should be good. So yeah, you can see uh, there's a little bit of opacity and it gets greater and greater as you go down here. So uh, let's go and undo all these guys. Oop. Okay. So now um, I can show you also um, how to do this in the column direction. So 
this time the fade goes this way rather than down. Um, and again, you can also go ahead and go to go there and um, apply an opacity of 10%, actually a transparency of 10% for each row and column. And just like the uh, blur, you know, the fade out intensifies the more you go down and to the right, whereas there's no fade out up at the very top left. So um, that's nearly it. I mean, the only other thing that I can really show you on this, and it's real simple, but the only other thing I can show you is that we can alternate our blur and our opacity, or our fade out, I should say. So you can see every other row, it alternates every other row and every other column. You get that fade and you get the blur. So kind of neat stuff. So um, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, see you later.